G'day, I'm Will McCarthy. I'm the Chief Product Officer of Swan Farm Robotics. I'm here today to talk about the work we're doing in apple orchards in the Batlow region. Trees are a little bit like people. Some are fat, some are thin. Uh, each year they're different. They have different volumes of flower on them. If we can get more consistency with our thinning regimes and we can target those trees with a heavy crop on them, then, then that's going to be a really fantastic thing for our operation. We asked farmers what the biggest factor in their flower thinning decisions were. The answer that kept coming up was getting the timing of application right. In the orcharding game, I suppose the like, no two seasons are the same. You know, we've had years where flowering can be from pink to petal four within five days. Um, it can be up to three, three weeks in another season. So what we're doing in horticulture is we're developing a system that as it drives down the orchard rows, it'll photograph each tree. We can process that data and then generate a flower stage map. Flower stage detection is a new concept that we've developed through the work here in, in the orchards and it's really about targeting individual trees within your orchard at different times. Rather than trying to treat the whole block as one blanket application, variable timing is about targeting each individual tree, applying primary thinners at the right flower and growth stage. So, so this technology allows us to um, really focus in on the stages and, and hit the target when we need to. It's invaluable. So I'm working to assist um, Swarm Farm in getting the ground counts um, to verify the information and going back to the um, cameras. In this project we're using a unique approach for detecting the stages of growth of the apple flowers on the tree. We're training an algorithm with data from the last year and linking that up with specific areas in the field and that's allowing us to identify across stages as early as green tip right through to petal fall what stage each individual section of the tree is at. The work that we've been doing so far has shown absolutely amazing accuracy of what we've been expecting since the start of the season. We've been able to show precisely at what stage each section of the tree is at and then aggregate that along a row and even across the entire block. But one of our large costs is hand thinning. If we can get our chemical program uh, fine-tuned to such an extent that we don't have to hand thin or we only have to do minor clearing up, then again that is going to be a huge benefit to the bottom line uh, in our operation. I believe that the systems that we're working on will make a difference for the farmers. What they have many issues getting things such as labour in and this would be really helpful in reducing the amount of labour that's required in the long run. These technologies with uh, the measurement of the volume of the flower on trees will assist us greatly with our, with our thinning programs. Uh, it will assist us in having greater yield per tree. I think it's just a no-brainer really uh, for, for the future and the management of our, of our operation. We're getting more confident with the technology that we've built. Um, we've proven now that we can actually detect the flowering stages of a tree um, or single trees within an orchard block um, and that's from green tip all the way through to petal fall and this year we're going to extend that work into fruitlets um, from early fruitlets all the way through to picking. The variation in the block is one of our biggest killers if you like in terms of production. Um, for Fuji, for instance, we can go from a 60 tonne one year to 6 tonne the next. This technology will enable us to target the on-trees within the block to try and turn the uh, variability around. There's definitely a benefit in the, in the technology. Um, you know, it's something that we haven't had before. At the moment, it's going walking through the block and having a look at the trees, whereas this will, will tell you exactly what's going on at the di different stages and the variation within the block. That's the biggest thing that we've, we find value in, is picking up the variation and being able to deal with it. This season is the third year that we've been collecting data out in the orchards and we've seen significant improvements in that time in terms of the accuracy of detection of flowers and now moving on to detecting individual stages for the farmer. We've also been able to speed up the process from something that's able to run offline taking many hours to run very close to real time now to give the farmers an on the spot idea of what's happening in their blocks. They can then take that information to go out with the variable rate spraying and the variable time of application sprayer to actually thin chemically in order to get the consistent performance of the trees. So the flower stage maps developed by the program um, will allow us to get assistance from agronomists off-site, um, like 
can't see any reason why they would need to attend if they, if they can use the heat maps produced by the, by, the, uh, by the program. This year is the first year we're going to be able to put those maps in front of growers you know, at a rapid speed um, and help them make the decisions on the ground. So we're going to work with the agronomists who look after this block and also a third party agronomist um, from Shepparton who are also going to look over the data and, and provide their feedback on what they would do purely based on the maps that have been put in front of them with no, uh, without having their boots on the ground, without seeing the orchard. Uh, so it'll be quite interesting this year to see what those two correlate to be. I see huge potential for the emerging technologies uh, which are coming into agriculture and particularly in our case into intensive horticulture. We're taking the time to understand the agronomy. This isn't technology for technology's sake and that's why we're working with local growers and agronomists on the ground here. Where we're actually doing manual counts of what's on the tree and correlating that with the algorithms we're building to prove that this technology will be useful in the hands of growers. At the end of the day it's going to give us greater productivity, uh, it'll give us uh, greater surety of the volume of product per tree and will enable us in the long run to potentially be a lot more profitable.